It didn't matter how loud pro-union protesters had to be in the Capitol halls this time. House members on their side made it easy. They insisted the gallery doors remain open during debate. No right to work. No right to work. Republican House Speaker Brian Bosma declined to fight the matter. He was satisfied lawmakers got to this point. Right to work at the full support of the governor and the state Senate. But in the House, it became a contentious affair. For six days, Democrats opposed to right to work failed to show up to vote. The House Speaker fined them $1,000 a day each. They gave up, but not without a fight. Before the final vote, there were several hours of impassioned speeches, generally about lawmakers' personal connection to the past and how the union was a big part of it. By the end of the day, the Speaker ordered the vote. The Democrats objected. Right to work passed by a safe margin. Yeah, it'll be 54, 44. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly right. In the halls where anti-right to work protesters gathered for weeks, shouts turned to silence. I don't, I don't need to talk. Thanks. As Indiana becomes the 23rd right to work state in the nation and the first in the industrial Midwest, the pressure is now on neighboring states. The, uh, Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, uh, Wisconsin, Kentucky, they're all going to take a hard look. Those employers are going to take a hard look at Indiana now and say these guys mean what they say. To lawmakers in states considering right to work, here's what Indiana's House Speaker had to say. Patience, uh, don't take it personally. Don't, uh, don't mind if uh, your name and Hitler's name happen to be spelled absolutely identically uh, and, uh, and a lot of planning. Outside the Capitol, Hoosiers had a number of opinions on the passage of right to work. The union has done good for some places. Let, don't get me wrong, I've seen them save a lot of people's jobs that probably didn't deserve it, but they've also saved jobs for people that did deserve it. So, I, you know, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. I've always kind of felt that the unions tended to, uh, I think they had their time and their place uh, years ago, but I think it's kind of uh, bloated our society and economy. Now that right to work has overcome its highest hurdle in Indiana, it is expected to become law by the summer.